Three Carroll College students are helping train young puppies to become future service dogs in their local Canine Companions Club on campus. I am thrilled to be a part of a mission that can offer a person with disability independence. Stephanie Jun is a volunteer helping raise puppies as a part of the Collar for Scholars Club at Carroll College. She has trained dogs before, but she tells me that training her puppy, Nyoki, is special. I can just feel how hard it would be to have a life where you feel like you always need someone else's help to live. Um, and dogs are one of those amazing creatures that are without judgment. The Collar Scholars Club, part of the Perkins Call Canine Center, is working with the national nonprofit Canine Companions. Their mission is to help connect clients with dogs so both can enjoy greater independence. Clients could be from any age and from any background, from military veterans to people working in healthcare, criminal justice, or education. Carol Senior Maya Lynn has been with the club since it started in 2019, and she walked me through what they do as trainers every day. As puppy raisers, we're not professional trainers, but we are helping to provide the puppies with a positive first few years of, or first year of life. Um, and we're socializing them to different types of environments and just making it all really positive for them. The trainers also teach each of the pups 30 basic skills to prepare them for professional training. Sophomore Courtney Bowes says her puppy Agave has been a huge help to her and hopes that the dog will do the same for another person in the future. Being here was kind of weird by myself, um, away from family and away from pets, and then I kind of, after joining the club, I was like, what better way than to get a, to raise a service dog for somebody in need, because um, not only will I benefit, but somebody else will at the end of it. Each canine companion service dog spends the first year and a half with a volunteer puppy raiser until they move on to professional training. In Helena, Reinberg, MTN News.